What is going on, people of the internet? Happy to you out here with the Katie Triple R, and welcome back or welcome if this is your first time visiting my channel, and welcome to my channel status report. Now, I haven't done one of these videos in a long time, so real quickly to those who are new to me for the past year or so, channel status report is literally just me going over the status of the channel or channels, I should say, since I got the Hyperthiotic channel on multiple platforms as well as a few quiet channels. And I should have another channel coming soon. Just a lot of stuff I got to take care of behind the scenes. But I'm going to be talking about the status of the channel on scene, behind the scenes, whatnot, just what's going on in my life affecting the channel and my content. So for those of you just stumbling onto this video and have never heard of me before, um, hi, thank you, welcome. Stick around to hear what I have to offer. It's literally just me explaining what's going to be going on with the channel behind the scenes and moving forward into the future for the next few months or the rest of your, the year or so. Uh, but for the most part, if you actually want to see for yourself, obviously just visit the channel. This is literally just me going over what's going on. Anyways, I think the first thing I'm going to start off with is where have I been? Now, there is a lot of stuff that I've been wanting to do for a good minute. And unfortunately, due to some due to some personal issues with like family and home, as well as some technical issues behind the scenes with my computer or other equipment, things have slowed down drastically. And because of that, I'm pretty much trying to play catch up with a lot of projects right now. Uh, for the meantime, most of my focus has been pretty much stockpiling up some videos for what did I miss on this channel. For those of you new to me, what did I miss is a series of gameplays. I'm sorry I'm stuttering so much. It's just my brain's just a little bit blank right now as I'm trying to go along and do this. But what did I miss is a series of gameplays of me checking out any and all games I missed out on when I was young or in their prime. Or even game modes that I haven't tried for games I have played but... You know, the mode is new. Uh, point being, I'm trying shit out that I haven't tried before or seen before. Or really sat down with, even if I have tried it. But only like that one time or so. So I can't really say I experienced it. And that's just half of what I'm doing f behind the scenes. The other half is putting all my energy into my second channel. Which, for those of you on the other platforms, right now it's only on YouTube and for a while it's only going to be on YouTube because I'm still trying to work out the playlist issues for the other uh, platforms but be quiet cutscene my second no commentary gameplay channel for video game playthroughs and video game preservation I've been putting a lot of work into that trying to make sure I archive as much of the video games as much as possible it doesn't matter if there are plenty of playthroughs of certain games that are already popular such as Call of Duty Star Wars games, etc., etc. If anything, that only benefits me for all the extra shit that I can touch due to being a low level, due to being not interested, due to shit being limited by time, like limited time events. Just stuff I can't cover. It'll benefit me. Because I already have so much shit on my plate as is. But there are other games that are not covered as much or more obscure that I eventually want to get to. But for right now, I'm primarily focusing on anything that's available on the Xbox Pass as well as mobile. And for what it's worth, there are some decent games on mobile. But I'm being quiet cutscene. I'm trying to archive all video games as much as possible. Good, bad, horrible, pay to win, you name it. So it doesn't matter how much ad filled pay to win BS is on mobile. I'm going to try to cover it for Be Quiet Cutscene. And again, it's no commentary gameplay. It's literally just a gameplay representing the game by itself as I play through it. This will include the gameplay fully most of the time with loading screens, loading just to see the loading time and, and, and everything. UI videos and whatnot. Sometimes going into guns and vehicles if I feel like it. Unless another YouTuber has already done a video like that. In that case, I'll just archive it into the playlist. So yeah, that's pretty much where most of my focus has been on for the most part. Working on Be Quiet, which is pretty much having a video to three videos almost every other day. So if you like the idea of a channel uploading gameplay 
almost every day, definitely subscribe. But again, it's primarily for video game preservation. Don't expect me to be good. I'm not going to get good. I'm just archiving these games. That is it, and that is all. You can obviously use them as a walkthrough, so there's that, if it's helpful, but otherwise, I'm not here to be good. I'm not here to be a professional. I'm not de over there to entertain. I'm here on the main channel to entertain, on the Hyper Chaotic channel, but um, be quiet. That is for video game preservation. Hopefully discussions around the video games when people are interested in comments. And that's really it. And I would love people to comment on those videos because the more people speak on their experience of the game, the more that helps preserve the experience or experiences experiences that it gave people out there. Because obviously everybody's going to have a different experience with every single game out there. Anyways, enough of that. That's where all my focus has been in. And most likely, ugh, most likely the week following this week, when you get this video, this channel status report, whatever it's uploaded, you're going to start getting... Uh, a few weeks full of what did I miss videos now not like every day or so I'm gonna keep them on Mondays to Fridays as I've been trying to do for this channel for those of you who are new I've been trying to keep my gameplays what did I miss series strictly on Mondays and Fridays but yeah I'm just gonna try to keep them on Mondays and Fridays but for the next three to four weeks I will have some videos already saved up coming out of Battlefront 1 to 2015 and 2017 not the originals I do want to eventually touch on the originals, but I already got my plate full with these current games that I'm going to mention. So I'm going to deal with these first. And when my uh, when my plate's eventually empty or has enough space, I'll probably add them to the list of games that I'm trying to catch up on as soon as possible within the recent month or within this year. But right now, I'm just trying to finish up, or I, I already finished up, but still trying to finish up Battlefront 2. I did the campaigns and I'll be moving on to the, uh, what do you call it? Not the co-op missions, the, the, the other local single player stuff. I've already done the co-op missions, the multiplayer, that stuff is already on the channel. Well, except for Supremacy gameplay, I will have that coming soon too with the campaign gameplay. But multiplayer for Battlefront 1 and 2, 20, the, the 2000 series, no wait, those, the original ones were early 2000s. I'm sorry. The two, you know what I mean. 2016, 2017. Um, yeah, I, I've i already covered their multiplayer. So I'm just trying to finish up on all the single player stuff. I also will have some videos of Warzone coming out soon and, and Battlefront. I think I also did a video on, um, what was it? The Infection event. Like one video and that's really it. But those are going to be coming out real real soon i'm also trying to get some uh gameplay done of what is it called warzone one if i eventually can hopefully before that shit's gone forever because it will be gone sometime in the middle of september once i'm done with those games warzone uh battlefront one and two i'm gonna finish off on the battlefield series and once i'm done with the battlefield series then I'm going to see from there what I'll probably do next. I'm still figuring um, figuring it out. But uh, from there, it's just going to be finishing off on the Battlefront games, the Battlefield games, and then I'll figure it out from there. Most likely, I'll touch the original Battlefront or what was it? Squad Commando, Commando, R Republic Commando or something like that. That one Star Wars game. Um, if not... The Crisis series. Because I definitely want to try all those for what did I miss. I just don't know which one I'll st uh, I'll start off with after finishing Battlefield. Alright, now moving on to other stuff I haven't done in a minute. The Dank Tale and Chaotix Collection. Starting off with the Dank Tale. The Dank Tale is a series of me reviewing any and all Canopy Nico products and accessories. Um, right now... I have some videos stockpiled. I need to work on the descriptions and some thumbnails for some of them. And I still need to finish up a few. But those have been put on full hold until I can finish what did I miss. At least at least up to Battlefield 3. And from there, I'm going to start working on the rest of the... what. Uh, not sorry, not what did I miss. The Dank Hill videos in between of me 
uh, in between me getting the What Did I Miss series done for the rest of Battlefield. Now, I already got a season one ready for those of you who are interested. You can check it out on the channel. There's a playlist for it. Again, this is me reviewing cannabis and nicotine slash tobacco products. So if you're underage, it's not for you, and it is age restricted. So don't think you're fucking slick when you comment or anything. I mean, all I can say is at the very least, don't fucking tell on yourself. But you obviously, if it's age restricted, it's a no-no. You know better. Don't don't fuck me over just because you want to, you know, watch a video of something that you you know you shouldn't be watching. Now for the Dane Kill, I may or may not have them in between what did I miss. But if I do, they're always going to be on Tuesdays and Thursdays. If they're not in between what did I miss, still Tuesdays and Thursdays. Uh, I did strictly have Wednesdays for Chaotic Collection, but that's a series that I'm going to start moving towards its own channel. More on that in a sec. But with the Dane Kill, once I finish this next season that I'm calling it season two um, that series is going to go on a hiatus for a while because it's going to be a while till I buy any new cannabis or tobacco products because the only I'm going to be honest I get from a dealer on the low low so I don't really get the dispensary stuff and my main my main brand of cigarettes that I stick to is Newport so if I do do a season three, it'll probably be really short. It'll probably be me trying some other tobacco products, some other pack cigarettes maybe, or cigarillos to see how they are as cigars and as blunts. For those of you who don't know, blunts, you know what joints are. It's weed wrapped up in rolling papers. Blunts are, it's weed wrapped up in a cigar wrap, a cigar paper. Or cigarillo paper. That's what a blunt is. So I may review them. How well they are as blunts. You know, taste, how they feel. How well they burn slow. Stuff like that. But that's most likely what I would do. If I end up doing a season 3. Otherwise, once I get those episodes out. They're going to go on a full blown hiatus. Or the series, I'm sorry. Is going to go on a full blown hiatus. While I work on some other projects. That I've been wanting to get to for a while. Next off is other shit. Besides the stuff that I just mentioned, I do other shit uh, uh, too on this channel. Right now, it, occasionally I will do a commentary if I feel like speaking on a specific topic. I'm also doing some videos on the MCU. In fact, I'm trying to finish up on a video in between, you know, what did I miss when I get a chance to. Uh, I did a video a while ago going over the plots, villains, and side characters within films of the MCU, and I'm trying to get to part two of that. That's what I'm trying to work on. I don't know what part I'm going to stop at, but I'm just going to cover plots, villains, and side characters from phase one up to phase three, and that's it. I'm not going to move on to phase four. I also have an old, sorry, off the top of my head retrospective of the MCU as a casual fan videos. You can check those out too. I've already done Phase 1, 2, and 3. Eventually, I'm going to do Phase 4 after those plots and villains videos. But after that, that's it. I'm not really going to take it any further after Phase 4. And if I do cover anything after Phase 4, it's only going to be very specific properties and not the whole phase as a whole. I doubt I'm even going to catch up on the whole phase as a whole anyways. And again, it's just from a casual fan. So we're not going to get that deep into it. If you want to get that deep into it in the comment sections, I'm all for it. I'm all for it. I'm all for the discussion. I'm personally just not going to get that deep into it. I'm just going to talk about it, how I felt about it, as a casual consumer, off the top of my head, no script, raw thoughts, a bit of a chaotic mess, but I'm not sure else what you're going to expect from a guy called Hyper Chaotic with a fucking K. And that is important because if you ever look up my name with the C, you're going to find other channels that don't really do too much. Uh, just spell differently, you know. But yeah, apparently I'm not the only hyper chaotic channel account out there. I'm just the only one really doing anything with the name as far as trying to be a, a content creator. Last but not least, Chaotix Collection. 
the series where I will go over any and all collectibles as well as go over information on said collectibles. Though I will always be going over the information first because that's the most valuable part of getting into collectibles, collector's items, and trading and selling collectibles. Uh, as well as the fact that that's the very thing that even got me to start doing that series in the first place. And I'm going to start moving that to its own channel, of course, by the same name. Chaotix Collection with a K. Both for Chaotic and Collection. I'm going to be with K's. Chaotix Collection is literally just going to be, it's going to be me going over any and all collector's items that are worth money to collectors. What people look for. Uh... And when I eventually look at the collectibles themselves, we're going to look at the type of stuff people are interested in, what you should focus on when getting into collectibles, especially if you're going to sell them. And even getting into prices and stuff, like how much something goes for if you want to sell it or if you want to buy it and add it to your own collection. Right now, I do have some videos of Chaotic Collection on the channel here. When I eventually do do that channel, I'm going to move them over there and remove them from this channel. But right now, it's really just going over some information about coin ears for those who are into coin collecting. Because that's pretty much where I got started and where the interest really got me going in the first place. Well, right now, with everything else on my plate, that's on full hold until I'm all done with all of that stuff. And probably in between Battlefield, before I even continue with what did I miss, that's where, I, that's where I'm going to set up Chaotix Collection. And with that one, I'll probably do three to four videos a, a month, if that. Most likely three to four videos a month. If it gets very slow on that channel, I'm going to try to limit it to at least one to two videos a month. They'll be lengthy videos. They'll be pretty long videos. They're not going to be short. But then again, neither are the videos here on this channel. Um, but of course, just with so much I'm going to be having to deal with on all these channels, I'm just going to strict that channel to just three to four videos a month if i can do that if not it's just going to be one to two videos a month that's when i eventually do that and when i do do that i'm still going to post the videos on a wednesday most likely to give something you know give something people can watch on a wednesday because you know how often do people get something interesting on a wednesday i think other than that that's it for right now that i want to mention as far as content there, there is other stuff that i want to get into but like I said, with, with so much on my plate as is that I'm putting on to myself, I, I'm going to take care of this stuff first before I even consider getting into that stuff. Uh, you know, that's that's for another time. I got some pretty interesting things I want to do, but I'm going to save them for another time, hopefully in the near future. I think the last thing I'm going to mention is how things are going for the channels on each individual platform. Well, YouTube, so far, I'm starting to gain a few decent subscribers and some decent views. And I gotta say, I'm glad you guys are watching. I'm glad you guys are interested. But listen, you guys gotta let me know that you're there, that y'all that are actively subscribed are actually watching. And you can do that by rating the videos and commenting. Hey, tell you what, I'll, I'll give you a word... Like if you have nothing to say, nothing to comment really any further, I'm going to give you a little keyword to say that lets me know you've gone to the end of the video just to let me know you're, you're, you're watching at all. And maybe I'll put it near the beginning without any explanation. That way, but if you do get to this point, you're like, oh, oh, okay, so that's what you were talking about. Well, I'm going to dip right here right now, but uh, here's the keyword just so I can help you boost in the algorithm and I'm going to go. And, you know, and... I know this is really just a channel status report, but still, let me know you guys are there by commenting or rating, by leaving a like, or if not, a dislike and a comment telling me why you dislike the video, because any, I repeat, any and all engagement on the video is good interaction for my channel and the algorithm, and any and all criticism can help me get better, but literally, I don't, I don't, you know what? How's your day going? Tell me about your day in the comments section. Anything to help boost the algorithm. And honestly, I'll probably bored, be bored. Oh my God, I'm stuttering all over the place. I'll probably be bored and feel like actually reading your comments and you know talking with you a bit anyways. I don't really got a lot of people to talk to in my comment section. So it's not like I got to worry about your comments being you know, pushed to the side by everybody else's. You know, at least until the day I ever start getting big, which... 
I really don't think that's gonna happen anytime soon. Anyways, YouTube, we're doing good. Bitchu, we're doing much better. Those who su subscribe on Bitchu, thank you. I really wish people on Bitchu would comment and rate more, but compared to every other social media, even to Rumble and Odyssey, I've noticed that on Bitchu, people engage with the videos the least on that platform. Even with other content creators on the platform with higher higher view rates, higher, higher subscribers, and probably even a little bit more engagement rates than me, they will still, even if they get a million, they'll still probably barely make like 50 likes, one dislike, and maybe at most 50 people commenting or less, even though they've gotten over a million views. I don't know. For some reason, people on BitChute really just don't give a fuck about engaging with the videos at all. Like once in a blue moon, you'll find a video that's filled with comments and got a healthy like to dislike ratio. But any other time I've noticed for any content creator, small, medium, or large, people barely ever engage with the video. Engage with the video, people. I engage with your favorite content creators. It, it, it helps them out. It boosts them in the algorithm. and lets them know you're still there. You're still interested. And hey, it, it, it boosts their... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? It boosts their motivation to, to want to keep going and want to keep making content for you people. You know, it, I may be starting off, but I'm starting to really notice how the lack of any engagement really makes me less motivated to want to continue. And, and you know, it, it this doesn't really help with trying to build um, a fan base, a community, when I, if people are not engaging with the video or engaging with others on the video. So please engage with this video, engage in my other videos. If you're not interested in anything I have to offer you and you're never gonna watch me again, please engage with other content creators you do watch. Please engage with your favorite content creators and their videos. It really helps them out. It motivates them to want to keep doing more. And at the end of the day, it's just going to make them happy to know that you still enjoy their content and actually want to engage with it. Or even if you dislike the specific video, the fact that you still want to engage with it at all. Because there's nothing worse for a video. There's nothing better to kill a video faster in the algorithm than disinterest. Nothing. Nothing worse for a video. Not, not hate. Not... Not, not dislike bombs, nothing. There is nothing worse for a video. Nothing kills it better, faster in the algorithm than disinterest. And as for Rumble and Odyssey, well, we get a view here and there. Otherwise, it's just barren. It, it's, it's a barren wasteland. It's like there's nobody there on that planet. And people wonder why their favorite content creators don't move over to these alternatives when they don't even engage with the video. Now, I, I already did a whole video going over other variables of why more people don't move over to those alternative platforms. But one of the biggest contributing factors is the fact that y'all people don't engage on there or even watch the videos at all. You'll just wait for it to be on YouTube anyways and that's it. Nobody really goes over there unless the video can't be on YouTube. Maybe it'll get copyright struck. Maybe they'll be it'll be demonetized or I don't know, the video would just be taken down. So just for the sake of the video going up and not all that hard work go to waste, some content creators will upload to Bitch Rumble and Odyssey. But for the most part they primarily keep everything on YouTube because well, why are they going to go over to the alternatives if nobody's going to go over there? Everything's still on YouTube for you guys, and you guys don't even engage, engage with the videos. And look, I'm not trying to sound so salty that nobody engages with my videos, but again, this does matter for every content creator and every video out there on every platform. That engagement does matter. That, that shit is fucking currency to the algorithm. Literally, currency. The, your, your favorite content creators, by the way... Through the algorithm with that engagement and that's all because of you guys without you guys the content creators say this a lot but it's true people like mr beast people like pewdiepie people like fucking venos gaming uh uh who can i mention that's not gaming fucking related uh i don't know insert your favorite content creator here literally wouldn't be where they are if y'all just stood silent and did nothing 
just engage with the video that's all you gotta do but for the most part at least i'm having less technical issues or algorithmic issues on those other platforms primarily in the sense of demonetization and copyright claims now i'm not monetized at all to begin with but even though i'm not a monetized channel monetized channels i mean sorry non-monetized small channels that don't even have enough to qualify for the partnership program at all can still be demonetized and i'm sure if you've ever heard about the issues of a video being demonetized from your favorite creators you know how that can just suffocate your, your video in the algorithm and prevent you from getting more views and more engagement it's it's just it's so fucking annoying but there's not really much i can do about it i mean i could try to be less demonetizable more family friendly but I, but i'm not i'm not gonna fucking do that i'm not gonna fucking do that because i'm not gonna make money on this anytime soon if at all i don't plan on ever making this my full-time job ever at all to begin with if i ever did make money off of this at most it would be a side hustle at most at the very most but yeah i don't know that shit's just fucking annoying it, it, i'm not gonna censor myself because i want to do what i want to do on this channel as long as i am not breaking the guidelines i'm gonna do whatever the fuck i want on my channel you know demonetization or copyright claims be damned obviously i'm not gonna infringe on copyright but as far as i'm concerned if it's fair use it's fair use i'm gonna do what i want and if i do do something that is gonna get copyright claimed anyways and there's nothing i could do about it or at the very least like there's no point uh, of of um what's the word appealing it because it's in a gray area and it's if you have the copyright uh, i'm sorry the fair use then it, it's whatever like think of the channels who upload your favorite scenes from a copyrighted film or show you know they probably get copyright claims on those videos even though they still made thousands of views they're not gonna make any money off of it but obviously they just upload it for the passion of it you know it doesn't really break the guidelines it doesn't infringe on copyright too much especially as long as they don't try to make money off of it but even then it, it's still annoying i'm still going to do what i want as long as it doesn't get me in trouble and that's just youtube the same goes for the other platforms as well now the very last thing i just want to mention is my upload schedule now it hasn't been the best lately however my upload schedule on BitChute shoot Ramon odyssey as well as my ordering has been even worse and all i can say is i'm gonna try to get better at that i don't really prioritize those platforms as much as i do youtube because let's be honest it's a bigger platform with more people it's just way more built better for everything and honestly it's a main tool to get my videos ready even for uh those other platforms at all in fact after i upload i read download it as a more compressed file so it's easier to upload to those other platforms in case the file the original file is in a format it doesn't handle or the file is just too large basically i use youtube as a video compressor for lack of a better way to describe it but yeah i'm trying to get better at my upload schedule for those other platforms it's not the best here on youtube but over there or for you guys watching over there here whatever the fuck yeah it's not any better i i, I gotta get better i'm trying to oh and before i forget when i eventually start chaotix collection that one will also be on bitchute rumble and odyssey I um, plan on probably going on to other platforms soon, but again, just like with other projects I want to do, that's going to be on hold on the back burner until I get all this shit off of my plate. But yeah, when I do start Chaotix Collection, it's not gonna, it's not gonna be exclusive to YouTube. Like, be quiet. I am gonna put that one on Rumble, Odyssey, and Bitshoot. I just wish the playlist features were better for Rumble and Bitshoot. So. I don't know, I'm still trying to work things out because playlists are going to be very important for me when it comes to Chaotic Selection. It is for Be Quiet, which is why I haven't moved anything over there when it comes to archiving shit. I mean, I don't know, we'll see. Bitchu has playlists, I just hate that you're limited to how many videos you can put into a playlist and limited to how many playlists you can have in general. For those of you who don't know, on Bitchu, if you make a playlist, you're limited to only four unless you get a premium account. I can't remember how much you get, but you get extra. And I, the videos are limited sorry the playlists are limited to 50 videos a playlist i don't know if you get a premium premium account the playlist is going to have more videos but yeah i'm, I'm
there's nothing I could do about that with Moody being quiet to to bitchy. Odyssey, most likely. It's got a better playlist feature than those other two platforms. In fact, Rumble doesn't have one at all, even though I'm pretty sure they would probably be able to support it and function a little bit better uh, than Odyssey. But then again, it's a bit slow in general. Yeah, other than that, Chaotix Collection will be moved to, to those other platforms. Bit, be quiet with just me on YouTube because I really, really, really need the playlist feature for properly archiving these videos. Since Odyssey has a better playlist feature, I might move it over to Odyssey, but we'll see what happens. And that's about it for my current channel status report. I might start doing these things once or twice a year. I don't know. We'll see what happens in the future. But right now, that's about it. Once again, engage with the video. Like if you've enjoyed. If not, leave a dislike and a comment. Tell me why, because any and all interaction, including interaction from my channel and the algorithm. And please give criticism, because any and all criticism can help me get better. I know this is a channel status report, but what better moment to inform me on the status of how I'm doing and where I need to get better other than my channel status report. I think this is the perfect place to start giving me some well-deserved criticism and please tell me where I need to get better other than the obvious stuff that I already know like just speaking better and not constantly fucking stumbling over my words slightly better audio I'm working on eventually getting a microphone and of course my upload schedule so basically those are the three things that are obvious to me that are flaws that I need to get better on please point out to me to this point ugh, what the fuck <laughs> please point out to me the stuff that is not obvious to me the stuff that I am completely oblivious to and with that said that's the end of the video I'm tired of talking I got some videos to edit for be quiet uh, and a few for what did I miss I gotta get I gotta get my list done oh and if you are into me and you have enjoyed or you're interested in what I have to offer please Subscribe and hit that bell notification icon to add a little dose of chaos in your life. H.K. out. Have a good one.